Mr. President, the managers on the part of the House of Representatives are here and present and ready to present the article of impeachment, which has been preferred by the House of Representatives against Donald John Trump, former President of the United States. The House adopted the following resolution, which with the permission of the Senate, I will read. House Resolution 40 in the House of Representatives, United States, January 13th, 2021, resolved that Mr. Raskin, Ms. DeGette, Mr. Cicilline, Mr. Castro of Texas, Mr. Swalwell, Mr. Liu, Ms. Plaskett, Mr. Nagus, and Ms. Dean are appointed managers to conduct the impeachment trial against Donald John Trump, President of the United States, that a message be sent to the Senate to inform the Senate of the appointments and that the manager so appointed may, in connection with the preparation and the conduct of the trial, exhibit the article of impeachment to the Senate and take all other actions necessary, which may include the following, employing legal, clerical, and other necessary assistance and incurring such other expenses as may be necessary to be paid from amounts available to the Committee on the Judiciary under applicable expense resolutions or from the applicable accounts of the House of Representatives, two, sending for persons and papers and filing with the Secretary of the Senate on the part of the House of Representatives any pleadings in conjunction with or subsequent to the exhibition of the articles of impeachment that the managers consider necessary. Nancy Pelosi, Speaker of the House of Representatives. With the permission of the Senate, I will now read the article of impeachment. House Resolution 24 in the House of Representatives, United States, January 13th, 2021. Resolved that Donald John Trump President of the United States is impeached for high crimes and misdemeanors and that the following article of impeachment be exhibited to the United States Senate. Article of impeachment exhibited by the House of Representatives of the United States of America in the name of itself and of the people of the United States of America against Donald John Trump, President of the United States of America, in maintenance and support of its impeachment against him for high crimes and misdemeanors. Article 1 incitement of insurrection. The Constitution provides that the House of Representatives shall have the sole power of impeachment and the President shall be removed from office on impeachment for and conviction of treason, bribery, or other high crimes and misdemeanors. Further, Section 3 of the 14th Amendment of the, to the Constitution prohibits any person who has, quote, engaged in insurrection or rebellion against the United States from holding any office under the United States, unquote. In his conduct while President of the United States and in violation of his constitutional oath faithfully to execute the office of the President of the United States and to the best of his ability preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States and in violation of his constitutional duty to take care that the laws be faithfully executed, Donald John Trump engaged in high crimes and misdemeanors by inciting violence against the government of the United States. In that, on January 6, 2021, pursuant to the 12th Amendment to the Constitution of the United States, the Vice President of the United States, the House of Representatives, and the Senate met at the United States Capitol for a joint session of Congress to count the votes of the Electoral College. In the months preceding the joint session, President Trump repeatedly issued false statements asserting that the presidential election results were the product of widespread fraud and should not be accepted by the American people or certified by state or federal officials. Shortly before the joint session commenced, President Trump addressed a crowd at the Ellipse in Washington, D.C. There, he reiterated false claims that we won this election and we won it by a landslide. He also willfully made statements that in context encouraged and foreseeably resulted in lawless action at the Capitol, such as, if you don't fight like hell, you're not going to have a country anymore. Thus incited by President Trump, members of the crowd he had addressed in an attempt to, among other objectives, interfere with the joint session's solemn constitutional duty to certify the results of the 2020 presidential election, unlawfully breached and vandalized the Capitol, injured and killed law enforcement personnel, menaced members of Congress, the Vice President, and congressional personnel, and engaged in other violent, deadly, destructive, and seditious acts. 
President Trump's conduct on January 6, 2021, followed his prior efforts to subvert and obstruct the certification of the results of the 2020 presidential election. Those prior efforts included a phone call on January 2nd, 2021, during which President Trump urged the Secretary of State of Georgia, Brad Raffensperger, to, quote, find enough votes to overturn the Georgia presidential election results and threatened Secretary Raffensperger if he failed to do so. In all this, President Trump gravely endangered the security of the United States and its institutions of government. He threatened the integrity of the democratic system, interfered with the peaceful transition of power, and imperiled a co-equal branch of government. He thereby betrayed his trust as president to the manifest injury of the people of the United States. Wherefore, Donald John Trump, by such conduct, has demonstrated that he will remain a threat to national security, democracy, and the Constitution if allowed to remain in office, and has acted in a manner grossly incompatible with self-governance and the rule of law. Donald John Trump thus warrants impeachment and trial, removal from office, and disqualification to hold and enjoy any office of honor, trust, or profit under the United States. Nancy Pelosi, Speaker of the House of Representatives. Mr. President, that completes the exhibition of the article of impeachment against Donald John Trump, President of the United States. The managers request that the Senate take order for the trial. The managers now request leave to withdraw. Thank you, Mr. Raskin. And the Senate will duly notify the House of